So you just gonna play the whole album? First person shoot it's an accident. Turn your sound and stick What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Let's go. Trying to get myself. Like, go ahead. Trying to get. Like, go ahead, why let it play. Why the podcast only two minutes? Because everything else on YouTube got blocked. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. That means nah, you should be man. listening to the podcast too. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Spotify yeah. and Apple Music. That way you can hear the vibes. Yeah, hear yeah, the jam sure. that we got coming in. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, sir. how we y'all back. doing today, man? We're back for another episode. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? We back, man. Episode ninety one. Ninety one of them things, man. Oh, Almost yeah. at the infamous one hundred. What are we gonna do? Season two for the uh, one hundred episode. Something know, special. Know, man. Do turn something. Turn we gotta do something. Gotta do something special Let us know in the comments episode. what y'all think. We got a pie live. Mm, that could be cool. That would that, be live. That would be cool. Uh, a live pod. I'm <clears throat> down for that. But, yeah, uh, for sure. Hey, man. Got to make sure we stay politically correct about everything. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Not politically correct. <laughs> for sure. Get out of here, you scammer. But uh, uh, um, since we were just jamming, for those who weren't able to hear it on YouTube, we'll see it and hear it on YouTube. We were just, you know, vibing out to the Drake for all the dogs. Uh, just a couple of tracks. And uh, I kind of want to revisit just... You know, um, how we feel about it after a weekend of listening to it Mm -hmm. or whatnot. Um, How you feeling about it? How y'all feeling about it? Do you, Uh, has your rating changed? Are you? Yeah, it did change. Our rating actually went down um, to six. Mm, I mean, he likes six, 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 six. I started at a six. (laughs) Oh, you started? Okay. Yeah, nah. uh, My first time hearing it, I was hearing it kind of moving. And then I was like, all right. uh, I, I didn't really count that one so i was mm-hmm. like all right let me just actually listen to it while i'm working yeah and I'm, I'm actually able to listen because i'm just driving and yeah. listening. so uh i was listening to it and i was like mm, it's okay um mm-hmm. it's not the hardest but it's not trash it's definitely yeah, not trash. yeah it's not trash that's it's why not. that's why because i had it at a seven in seven comparison and a half. to where we hold drake to standard wise comparison yeah. yes. to where i hold drake it's definitely not one of his best yeah um, yeah it's a cool album. It's it's got it's got it's got some it's, it has for some me. some hits. Um, it has yeah. a little moment in the middle where I'm just like, I like this album. Mm-hmm. Same it's, thing. It's same literally thing. like five tracks in a row. I'm like, yep. okay, thank yep. you. We said the same. This is thing. what I was waiting on. Uh-huh. And then you have a moment where it kind of dies There's out no, again, and, and then, then it, it come, picks back up. Yep. <clears throat> said the same. Like, <laughs> and so it was weird. <laughs> That's how I listened to yeah. it. Like, so, that, uh, like that away from home was tough. Oh yeah. man, um, like the way it was like. I think it was a track between that. I was like, all right. What he remember? And then away from home was hard. Yeah, and then it went back down for me. Like, yeah, I think the oh, last yeah, track was like, ah, it's cool. And you said that too on the album reaction. You were like, man, he could have just really ended it. No from facts. With yeah. No one. facts. But I mean, if he would have shaved this down to like maybe twelve songs, it would have been. I think fine. we would have had would, a classic. Yeah, we would have had a classic. On I, our hands. I think he obviously we're we're in the era of streaming, so it makes sense if yeah. you're dropping an album and a big artist like he is, um, you would drop damn near twenty four tracks because that's gonna push you up in all the streaming platforms because mm-hmm. you the right got analytics. so many songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of the same thing that Chris Brown was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. But I know on his up, Chris Brown's upcoming album, he's only doing 11 songs. Perfect. Hey, that's cool next month. Which is Because I wasn't going to be able to do another reaction to yeah, nah. <laughs> straight R&B for 20 something tracks. That's insane. But the that's, point I'm trying to make is that's, nah. that's the time period that we're in. Granted, I feel like Drake is such a big artist, he could drop a 10 to 12 track album and it will still oh, go if anything i think it would go even more because it's more of the high quality tracks mm-hmm. than just uh you know, get some fillers in there yeah fillers, fillers yeah. for the algorithm you yeah, know and i feel I like feel. he's one of those type of people even you know he was flexing he's like lucius grain on universal it's really me mm-hmm. he's one of those people he can tell like hey i'm gonna do this album this is how long it's going to be. This is how many tracks it's going to be. Mm-hmm. That's it. And nobody from the label is going to question him because he's that Thanks. big. So I feel like in, I, I was watching a, another YouTuber or whatnot, uh, Sean C. Shout out to him, like YouTuber. He does like oh, music yeah, reactions and stuff like that. And, you know, he's jamming the album and kind of a lot of the similar <laughs> songs we was rocking with. He was rocking with. He loved that uh, that screwed up interlude. Oh, yeah, He's like, bro, yeah, that was this, cool. That was cool. This was that was fire. Good. He even said, I'm, "Drake knew better not to hop on that." <laughs> he just let oh, that play. Sure. I was let like, "Yeah, that, that was perfect." But his criticism as well, kind of similar to ours, is like, for example, on it was his first time listening to eight AM in Charlotte. He's like, "Bro, when the nigga wanna go, he can it's, go. There's it's easy. It's it's nothing to him." And then you backdoor with tracks where you be like. Come on, he man. He'll give us some mid. Yeah, he'll, he'll give you something where it's like, we know, you yeah. know, 
he's a top tier MC when he chooses to be one. Mm -hmm. And you see those moments, like, you know, some moments like with the sexy red one, get it. That's that's a wave. Your club that's the thing. trend. But at the same time, girl. at the <laughs> at the same time, it's like <laughs> you have that song contrast to like a a, uh, a, a, a first person shooter. Mm -hmm. the, con contrast on the same album is is fucking crazy. I haven't heard that whole song yet. Good. Which one the the sexy red track? I have yet to hear the whole song. <laughs> oh, Rich baby daddy. I heard it in the club and it's crazy, I'm sure. bro. It's going crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's going insane. Bro. Cause I'm listening to it, and chicks is like it's like a a uh, it's anthem. like it's you like, need that ranch it's like they, in the they club. can't help themselves. Like when they, mm. when her first when it starts with her, she say something about shake that ass, right? Yo, yeah, yeah, that's it's, it's perfect. Ass that's a perfect, to get shook. perfect club track. And it, it is crazy because come up on. and it's just like wow, that's, <laughs> the that's, sound that's, effects. Because when we're I'm listening to it in the studio, it's like, bro, what is this? <clears throat> But when you hear it in the club setting, for whatever reason, when you had the the, the ass shaking and you add everything else, else to it, mm -hmm. you're like, damn, it's... actually goes. It's actually going. But me personally, I just can't see myself driving down by myself. Listening to somebody say, shake that ass. So, nah, nah. so we know why he put it on the album. <laughs> Especially not putting your hands on your knees. Yeah, yeah. I hope but, not. Yeah, nah. We knew why he put it on the <laughs> album. But ultimately, I've, we've, I've, I just out of the people I've seen... You know, comment and talk about it. It's the general consensus. Is it's not bad, but I think people were expecting a little bit more considering he it's named the album for all the dogs. the dogs. We got hyped up for it, and it's kind of like there's some great stuff on there, like just really good. Then he shit dropped that eight a.m. in Charlotte, huh? Then he you dropped know, that eight a.m. Really in Charlotte shit for the gangy. You know, yeah, yeah I didn't know the what gangy. the gangy was. <laughs> you don't know about the gangy. I didn't. <laughs> so You're not it, feeling the gangy. It, 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 like I said, I've, I've been a, a few listens. I'm a, I'm a probably, I think I originally said seven. I said think eight. I, oh, I said eight. So I'll probably drop it down to at least a seven. I went from maybe, a six maybe, to a 6.5. I'll mm. drop it down to like a seven. Because to be honest with you, I have all the songs that I listened to. It, initially, it was like close to, it was like close almost to like an hour. Of just songs that I was gonna go back to. You're about then, halfway, huh? Yeah, but now I'm at like 32 minutes. I got nine songs mm. that I will. You literally have the same number I have. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's like five in the middle. It's like mm -hmm. two at the beginning. And I mm -hmm. think it's that one at the back. So mm -hmm. it's about eight yeah. or nine. It's like nine songs. I'm somewhere I can, in that area. I've been having on repeat, and it works for me. And I like that party track, even though he said the bar thing. And then that kind of that party track is cool too. It's just I think. It just went on too long, yeah. bro. And and that's it, it did drag. It, I do like that track, but it dragged. I yeah. like all the parties. I really Me too. wish oh, Chief bro. Keith. Hey, bro, Chief Keith should stay longer. The way bro. he got on there, his bro. delivery. We've all said we all said bro. I listened to that. I'm cool with the that. Parties go that. hard. Even uh hearing it in the club, bro. It goes that shit yeah, go I hard. I'm not surprised. It's just this nigga it's just one of those out. problems. Where it's like, you gotta hear it in the club. Once you hear Chief Keith's part, you're like, then you want more, and then it, it slows down. Yeah, it's, and it's just like, ah, bro, I would have listened, would have loved Cause him. Because the way to he came more, on there bro, and started delivering, I was she like, oh, oh, she used to study. Now she was on the phone. Nah, that shit was. Hold on, hold on, too. Then the beat came back in. Yeah. I yeah. was like, dog, oh, yeah. this, nah, this was keep tough. rolling it's, that. It's, it's, it's a solid I'm track, like, ah. for sure. That's one of the tracks, for sure. That is one of the most. But I will say, um, I feel like inspiration. You know, Drake has been in the top for a long time. Oh. Um, you know, so it's one of them things where him taking a break, I think, will help. He he has to miss it more. That's um, he's he's been yeah. dropping some. I feel, it feel like every year. Well, that's yeah, what uh, my homeboy said last night. He said the issue with Drake right now is he drops more than like your J. Cole's or your Kendrick. Right. Yeah. And, and we so expect him to hit it every out time. The tar, yeah. Every time. And that's what I told him. I said, That's my issue. I'm like, Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense for him to, you know. And he was touring. Yeah, I, and he was saying like he has so much qu quantity, and that's what, what what's probably the issue because we're expecting that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. I'm expecting that. I'm expecting Drake level content. So if it's not, then it's gonna bother me a little. Because we've yeah. had regardless he's dropped Facts. a album every year. He dropped obviously this one, then last year her, her loss, loss, which is fucking fantastic. Even though it's a collab, that will still go. Solid. Album. I got and a lot then, of replay value. Uh, it did. Back outside. And then the uh, the album before that was uh, honestly never mind. Was it, what was the name of We're it? We're not in. Yeah. Just never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Just never mind. Because we all reacted to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, never well, mind. The year before that was CLB. So that's 
about good, you know what I'm saying? Four projects in four, the past four years. Yeah, or five like he's years. always dropped something <clears throat> lately, and if we're not I, mistaken. I, I think honestly, he <laughs> he definitely do. That's a good three out of four. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, honestly, I do think he <laughs> needs to, you know, definitely take that break, take that hiatus, find that that you know that passion Fi- again. Do not to Kendrick, say that he doesn't have the passion. Do what Kendrick for it. and Cole do. Yeah, just, just take find a break. To do. I ain't gonna hold you. I know it's too early to predict, but his next project gonna be hit. I think it's gonna be the one. I hope. I so. said the same thing. I said no. I just for I said, some reason I, I just said, feel like it's too much smoke on this project. I agree. He gonna come for everybody. Be, head. He did like because remember Scorpion? How he dropped Scorpion? Because Scorpion came out hard. Yeah, yeah. That, like that first. But it was like was I think the sides. album before that, people were like, "This isn't what we wanted," yeah. or "This isn't exact." That was the playlist album. <laughs> it was more life. More life. More life came yeah, out and they weren't a, happy. Yeah, because and it was then a he dropped system. Scorpion. He was like, "I'm still here." Yeah, and, I, and that's I, it's funny because I, I got that meme. He's like, "I got one more in me," yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's how I feel Drake about to do Bro, with this next project. This next one, well, I think it's gonna be because I mean, he, he gonna take a break. He needs he gonna to soak all long, this in. A long hiatus. <clears throat> he gonna he gonna take a break. And let let people miss. Else, let people miss him. So and he think? gonna come back. I don't know, man. I just feel like he is. What y'all think about the Joe Budden comments? Yeah, um, so that was gonna be the next conversation. Um, <laughs> I do feel like um, can we read that, bro? We need Please. to read that, bro. You want to play it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Play the play the whole little segment of him. Yeah, talking. so we yeah, can play, play him. What Joe Budden uh, said because I feel Joe like there's valid said. points on both. Oh, sides. and his dad came out and said something too today. See, now that's I'm gonna I'm gonna play it first. Yeah, because yeah. I have a couple things to say about that. Yeah. Um, but we can I didn't hear that. Well, no, the dad just made a comment uh, okay. about it today. Oh, okay. what not? About everything that was being said? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, Let's I'm going to find it too as well because I saw that earlier. Rapping. Out. There we go. But for the off. rappers. I missed the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Mm. Not these little f-ing kids. I don't give a f- about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. <laughs> it's not hate. It's not hate. It is. It's not hate. Go find some niggas <laughs> your fucking age. <laughs> Hang out with them. Get some of that sauce. That's all the not old, what keeps all you. All the, all no, the that's what keeps you popping. The old, these kids. That's not what keep you popping. And if exactly. that's the game he playing, all the old, I gotta play this game. All the old no, is streaming music no. and buying it, Joe. It's, no, this is no. Such all, a, all that, all that, all that, old, all that, all that, all that shit y'all saying for me applies to the field. I have long before called this the golden child. Mm. Different set of rules apply. Correct. He's him. Hmm. He is not one of them. The See, he was giving him his love, though. Like, he, he, he's always been him. a fan. He's yeah. never this said he wasn't a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Was, that's the thing. He he talks his crap because he he's looking for a specific Drake like certain fans. And though. that's that's where I feel like Drake kind of look went a little OD. I agree. Because mm-hmm. Joe Budden, he he isn't tied to anyone. So mm-hmm. he can give his honest opinion mm-hmm. for the most part. I mean, we know he has certain relationships that he ain't going to give be yeah, so brutal. Sure. But yeah. he's always been new, known to go in the shade room because of his... His honesty that nobody people will think, but they ain't gonna have the courage to actually say because of their mm-hmm. relationship with you. Yeah. Um yeah. but to me, he's always held Drake in his high regard. Always. Mm-hmm. Like every time, and I'm a watch, you know, I'm a you know, avid watcher of the Joe Button podcast. So when I see them talk about Drake, he always has them in this mm-hmm. pedestal. And that's why sure. he called him the golden child. Like I feel like everything he had to say about him was kind of what a lot of the it was rappers critical. Thought. Because he he expects more from one of his favorite artists. Kind of yeah. like the same thing we're saying. <laughs> he's yeah. basically saying he's a fan of Drake. That's, yeah. that's what he's saying. And he, he's not too happy with the latest project mm-hmm. because he feels like he he should be the big. Me personally, I felt similar. On certain songs, there's it's like I don't I don't like you matching their energy. Right. Show that you're the big homie on this track. Yeah. Cause there's what is that? Don't match the the I don't give you. a f- track. That track, it's like, I don't know, that track with he. Yeah, it doesn't give me this is your song. Like it yeah, just no, sounds that, like you said that it sounded like it a just sounds track like it's your track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I'm like, no, this is your album. You yeah. need to be showing us you the big homie in this track. Yeah, and that and that kind of bothered me. And so when he mm-hmm. said that, it's like I kind of feel it because it's like, you know, I, I get you trying to do the wave, the trendy thing, and keep it alive yeah, for the yeah, younger crowd. I understand and, that and grow. Yeah. But I feel like you're you're popular enough to still. Be fine, regardless and, of how and, you. And that's it. where yeah. I agree with Joe said on that part where I don't, I don't do that with him. Other people needing yeah. that wave and the, 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 the yeah. main streamers sure. and stuff. To you got to go on somebody's stream. I don't think Drake needs to do pro- that. Anymore. He don't. Nah, Drake bro, can put out what that, he want. He put out honestly. Never mind. We didn't think <laughs> yeah. about that, yeah. did we? That yeah. was totally off our radar. Yeah, right. yes. he didn't care when we thought with that. 
Nope. And he did him on each track. Mm-hmm. So with this project, it's like you don't need Lil Yachty. You don't need, you know, the 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 people feeling like you with the the crowd, mm-hmm. the young. You don't need sexy red on there. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go that route. You don't need what some of these other artists need in order to get that exposure and gain that that momentum in those numbers. You Drake. Yeah. yeah. You, you wanna, wanna, uh, the, you're the, one of the big big three, the KD and I mean the K Dot, J. Cole, and, yeah, and they, Drake. Like you can you hop on a no features thing. You can do no features and be fine. Like, you wanna read Cole, what he actually said to Joe Budden no, in response? Ahead. You got such a Well, no, I don't have it. I only have the what his oh, father has said. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. You want me to do all the work? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> no, I got you. You, know like, you, know. you already had the phone there. I thought it was on the same slide. You had it. it wasn't. It was like on two down. different. Um, scroll oh, down. Okay. You know, I had already scrolled. But now, one. So the the one where he responded. Yeah, he responded to the the clip you just played of Joe Button. Because they think they uploaded them. Okay, okay, here we are. Here we are. All right. Joe Button, damn this nigga added this nigga, oh, bro. Yeah, he was Put a name on that bullet, and he did. And he was not too happy. He was not too happy. He said, "Joe Button, you have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing in this clip because this is if this is what actually pays your bills." Damn. Yeah. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. Jeez. A quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. Damn. <laughs> You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke living check to check, and how he spelled it was C H E Q U E. Yeah. That was a little shade there. So check to check, and the raps yeah. you write had four fifty four hundred and fifty men showing up to your shows in dusty Inichi jeans to screw up their face to mood music. He went in on this man, bro. Twenty nine, and pretend you are the goat. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't yeah. let these opinions affect your mindset Jesus, after the fact. This oh. guy is the poster child of frustration and surrendering. <laughs> you retired. Yo. You feel me? You retired, and we never hung up your jersey. Oh, we don't even God. remember your number, bro. When I read that, bro, oh, I said, it oh, was, that, "That's so how man. I felt." I was I like, damn. I was like, "Damn, that's cold." The, the only thing again. is. I also read it in a form of like, damn, that's how you look at us check to check people? That's crazy. <laughs> Facts. Facts. This dude said, you retired and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for doing this. Sheesh. You withdrew from rap. Not because you accomplished all you need to it because it wasn't working for you. Mm-hmm. I never want anything in the generations. I never need. I never want anybody in the generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. <laughs> if you need it, put in simpler terms, <clears throat> I own a 767. He owns a modest house <laughs> in the 973 and flies first See, class like, on special occasions. What's wrong with the occasions. modest house, man? It's just a flex. It's just a flex. I know, the, but the, it's the just, comparison it's like That was a dunk. It's like, <laughs> like what's wrong with the layup? That's, it's that's like, what but you, you, he felt like up, he man. felt like dunking it. Bro, <laughs> dunked Joe Budden didn't even hate on you. Hate he, on he you. Vince Carter didn't, dunked uh, on you. Joe Budden responded to him too. He Joe Budden did respond and, and it said, wasn't, wasn't "You'll grow nothing. up sooner or later. Hmm. Father Time is undefeated." He's not wrong. Yeah, and he's not. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not really. I'm not really siding with Drake on this one. That, I'm not that's either, my guy, bro. You know, Drake is my guy, but right now I feel like hurt hit dogs holler, and. I feel like he actually holds Joe to a certain standard. I think I think his opinion mm-hmm. do matter. You know yeah, how we'll say sure. in public, we'll be like, man, I don't give a fuck what you say. But when you hear certain critiques from certain people, I think it it, it affects you. Wasn't that mm-hmm. the first person he was beefing with? Like at the beginning of his career? Was it Joe Biden? I don't know if it was Joe. I mean they did have But beef. he he yeah. did show love to him though before. Yeah. I wanna say. Mm-hmm. He's showed love to him plenty of times. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about uh Drake. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, so, I believe he has. But I mean, just all in all, I feel like I feel like he he kind of took I think what Joe said. Drake felt that. He felt Drake it. ain't writing no paragraph without feeling it. He, yeah, <laughs> like, ain't nobody gonna write a paragraph. You ain't writing no paragraph without that, feeling that it. That hit a nerve. The, yeah. That showed me that it hit a nerve. <laughs> it hit a nerve. Because sure. I would have been like, that's just Joe. But and then on the flip side, J- Drake probably felt like, man, this dude been coming for me in in little ways mm-hmm. for so long. It was a build up. He even had a thing to say about Charlemagne. Like, damn, like what is it? Oh yeah, like, yeah. Every time I do and say, you know, every time I do something, these people only have negative to say. So I mean, I get on his point of view where he'll feel like, damn, it's like it's always something. But yeah. I feel like he didn't watch that clip in the in the entirety. entirety. Yeah, because yeah. Joe actually ended up saying he liked the, the album. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he did. Damn, 
There's a, there's a whole he just like, felt like he could do a, better. A few minutes, and that's what happens when you only look at a couple clip, of minutes yeah. of a clip. Because mm-hmm. you you could take so much stuff out of context. It took it all every the way out time. of context. Like because I actually went and, and looked that. at it too to understand what exactly he was talking about, and I was like, well, he actually kind of yeah. he really complimented him more than he exactly did. He, did. Yeah, I mean, he really he was, did. Like it and, was, and, and they just took that little piece, and you know, shade room gonna get you a little piece. Oh, he said this. Uh-huh. That's why. That's another conversation. And too, then boom, and then it's just it takes off on, uh, another direction. And and. Um, on on that too as well. He was also giving advice about when you got Cole on your track, you ain't supposed to be talking about Irene and you know Pauline and packing them up like sardines. You supposed mm-hmm. to be going at him, which I agree. Mm-hmm. When when Cole was on that track, he should have went at Cole like on some friendly you know yeah. warfare. But yeah. Cole came on that to tear his head off. Yeah, the one That's line he did do. get him he was like one away from Mike <clears throat> nigga beat it. That was hard. Cause yeah, because I mean that, throwing that's, your accomplishment that was hard. But, but he had to rap when you talking yeah, about the top yeah. three. Yeah, nah, and Cole said it. Cole, Cole said, bro. "You talk about Kendrick, um, K dot, uh, K dot, or whatever the bar yeah. is. Y'all mm-hmm. get it. Him, uh, Aubrey, and me mm-hmm. uh, feel like the the big, big three. three. Yeah. And he said that. But right now, I feel like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yes. nigga, Muhammad that Ali line said is basically yeah. saying he was I am the greatest. Him. That's yeah. what he's saying. Like and that's nigga. what makes it, it feels like even after that, after that for his verse, I think that extra part is extended. I think." Maybe. Oh, he had that's the verse that. he sent, and then he added his extra. <laughs> like, hell no, you ain't yeah. finna come. But I mean, even then, he went into the the people in his phone. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Nah, bro, it ain't time to talk about women. It's time to get on. Nah, bro, that nigga nah, it's time to spit your shit. That nigga said he's Muhammad Ali. Yeah, that nah, nigga J Cole. He do what Cole he, do. Cole, he, he Cole took on that track. Been, bro. He do what Cole on, do. On Cole on been. Track. I can't wait for the fall off. Yeah, because <laughs> Cole seemed like he just in a different. Yeah. He been in a different he bag. A different He's always role. been. Yeah. And his pen has go. Yeah, no, nah, that nigga. Been consistent. Um, let me read uh what uh his oh, father yeah. ended up responding to. So Drake posted uh a post on his Instagram said, I I thank God for this life and not having to come to uh rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. This oh. is Drake. <clears throat> Like, he, he, who you re- shooting at, Drake? Because uh, <laughs> well, we ain't get these from Best Buy. It don't matter. They got these at Best Buy. Yeah, they do. I we think. ain't get them from Best Buy. It don't matter though. <laughs> it's, a a Mike's a Mike. it's a Best Buy. It's a Best Buy mic. Hey, Drake, don't don't, don't, <laughs> don't shoot everybody. Shoot. So, well, where are we supposed to buy them at to make us look cool? Right. I don't know. The point is, I mean, he's definitely <laughs> doing that. At Joe where's Button the cool place to buy mics? <laughs> Best Buy mics. So his father uh, chimed in or whatnot. He was like, uh, "It's a fucking shame." That a young artist can't do his own thing and enjoy his glory without an old hating mother, you know what, trying wow. <laughs> trying to bust his bubble because he has nothing going on. And to mention to put a limit on what age <clears throat> anyone should be dealing with, um, which is none of his goddamn business. As long as they're they born this out of Whoa. <laughs> as long they as really they're are. Uh, of legal age, I am sick of these old effing haters effing with my son. If you don't like what he does, <laughs> keep it moving. And, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he a a he's not bothering father doing you. A, father doing what father doing. Of course, doing, of course, you're obviously you're gonna <clears> stick up for your son. But once again, like I like we've been saying, I think a lot of people have been saying what Joe Budden said wasn't necessarily wrong is right. is we've been we've been feeling this a uh, feeling about this especially <clears throat> with this album that he there's nothing wrong with collaborating with the youth there's nothing wrong At with all. being tapped in with what the youth is being tapped in with but it also has to make sense and the points you said the yeet track i've been listening to yeet and i like his music for the most part that track sounded like a Yeet song featuring Drake yeah. on Drake's own album. Exactly. That's a problem. It should not be like that with the biggest artists. Anybody else? Cool. But this nigga is literally at the top <laughs> of the Mount Rushmore of hip hop. He's, he's yeah. supposed to be him. Well, he so, is him. Nigga, so it's like about to break Ty Michael. Well, no, he's about to break the record. He's already tied, but he's about so, to break yeah, the record. Yeah, he's about to break the ref- record. Right? Excuse me. So. So it's one of like those type of things expecting. where it's like we're yeah, expecting expectations more. Are high. collab. That's it. You know, experiment with sounds and 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 be involved in the the youth, but at the same time, don't it, it comes off force. It doesn't come off natural. Yeah. Like I wouldn't have tripped if the sexy red song just sounded better. Like if they would have did something where if it, it just, just didn't like sound like a Katrina on there. Well, that wasn't about to happen, bro. Like I said, I'm, I'm it would have sound, 
this is just, he it, can do that though. Like that's the thing we he got to understand. Do that. Drake can. Oh yeah, he, he put can, Project Pat. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah, he, can do, he literally can do album. whatever he want. But like I said, we got we get it. Once I seen the them taking multiple pictures together, the nigga going with the hot gifted her, thing. gifted yeah, her uh, a watch, watch and some and money. I was like, chicken oh. Alfredo, and I'm like, oh yeah, she <laughs> she probably already in the OVO factory for sure. Yeah. Oh and, for sure! Oh yeah, she was definitely an old. So I don't know. Once again, I collab who with who you want to collab with, but also at the same time, you got to be understanding that some people may not see the vision that you saw, and they will have criticism. You know what I'm saying? If there's that's some it. people that thinks this album is complete trash, and if that's their opinion, that's their opinion. And but, there's some people that think this is a classic. Yeah, there's some people the that love album. it. Music is music is subjective. Yeah, absolutely. But but in Drake's defense, I will say. He's been doing this for a very long time. Oh, yeah. He's been at the top for a very long time. I mean, think about it. We're starting to criticize him because he ain't the hook man no more. Yeah. Or haven't been in a little bit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like he carried hooks. Bro, I'm talking about, come on, since 09. Yeah, man. So oh, I That's mean, a long and, time to be my, doing My homeboy asked a good question. He said, what else can Drake do? And I said, you know what? I don't know, but I wanted something else. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. Though. That was my response, and, and maybe like you said, time off may help with that. Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> some of the greats—I mean, Jordan—he was so great for so long, and at some point, Father you know, Time is undefeated. And, but then, he said and, it. And, and things, he you know, obviously his game started to, to decline. And he wasn't the best as he was before. You can mm -hmm. put that into sports comparisons, and the same thing with MC. You can't. You're not gonna always have just the best hits. And yeah. we said the same thing about Lil Wayne because at one point, yes. Lil Wayne he was starting to fault off. Magoo. And he wasn't dropping some of... He was just putting out anything. Yeah. And it wasn't really hitting like it used to. And he had to take time off. Obviously, he was dealing with legal troubles and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, going to jail and stuff swinging. like that. And he was able to, you know, recenter himself. And I think Drake can do the same thing here. So him, He's still young, man. He'll yeah. be, what, 37 this month? So, so yeah, he, man. He's, he's real young, still... Got a lot of life to live. Um, For sure. Hope everything is going good with him. I know he was talking about taking time off. Also, due to stomach uh, <coughs> problems. Yeah, so, man. So, uh, praying that everything goes good with that and just get go rest, man. Mm -hmm. Put another project out, man. Hey, so what, man? You're, you're great. You're a GOAT. Your name going to go down as one of the best to ever do it. For sure. Um, For sure. You tying yeah. and breaking Michael Jackson that says enough about your career. Yeah. You don't have to worry about other people's opinions. It's just opinions. Us not feeling a project. Doesn't take away from what you've done yeah. for the game and the culture for as mm -hmm. long as you've Absolutely. been doing it. And I don't think anybody should take anything from that. Yeah. There shouldn't be no chinks on your armor. You're human. You've been doing what you've been doing at the highest level that you could possibly do it yep. for forever. You've yeah. been dropping way more than Kendrick. That's why I always had him above Kendrick and stuff like that because Kendrick don't feed the streets is enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's not present enough. So I always... Mm -hmm. Appreciated Drake because he was present and yeah. still dropping heat and still dropping, dropping heat. heat yeah. Cole still drop heat. He, yeah. he'll, he'll take time off from an album, but you're gonna see him feature. You're gonna see him drop a random vid on YouTube. He's still he be, just rapping. He's still gonna be present. He's gonna, yeah, be, he's present gonna be present somehow. Yeah. You know that was always my my gripe with Kendrick, even though he's a great. But fam, y'all are goats in a in a game where it ain't even one percent. You're the part of a I don't even know the decimal point that you would be in because everybody in their mama think they can rap. Yep. Yeah. So imagine all the rappers in the world, or people that have never said, "Hey man, check out my mixtape." Yeah, you know, and to say that you're in this league of your own, yeah, that's enough to just talk about it. You know, that's enough to be appreciative and just help you go to sleep at night. So, sure. take care of that boy. The track, <laughs> he he did his thing on there. I can see Adonis on there rapping one day too. Yeah, oh maybe. yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, <clears> on <throat> to some great news. Now I want to preface this for student loans is going to be uh. We can talk about that because uh, mm, you said happens, great news. I was just trying to see until it happens, it, and then you know we'll 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 dive Mail into that one. Kiss but mine. great uh, great news for sports fans out there, <sighs> y'all y'all were what we two thought y'all were, man. <laughs> That's a two part because we did lose Sunday. <laughs> we lost, but I'm still optimistic on what happened because it, it yeah, that was sure. a good game, and I'm definitely liking what CJ Stroud is doing for sure. Oh, but wow. we're going there. Yeah, but yeah, man. Why is that great news? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm okay. talking about the Cowboys losing. Some of the Cowboys. Oh, oh that's fucking fantastic news. Oh, yeah. You want to know why that's that fantastic? That made my Sunday. News? Because we have a lot of Cowboys let's, friends. Let's 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 <laughs> go here. I'm and I'm talking to the 
the delusional ones, not the sensible We're ones. We're going to the Super Bowl. The ones that know, they recognize the problems, and they understand, and they're not living in the past. They're not talking about Super Bowls those. that were, you know, when they were fucking kids on VHS tape. We're not talking about the sensible ones, but you delusional motherfuckers. Oh, oh, oh. Last night was great. That was in that in fantastic. that stance. Fantastic. Wasn't Be- it uh what? Fantastic. Forty two. To uh, to ten to yes. ten, it was mm. close. The, <clears throat> yeah. yeah, all Real the close. the the packs they've been smoking from other teams, blowing out these not so good teams and riding that high. Like, oh yeah, we're going to the Super Bowl. You see what we did to you the know Giants. what? I we see what we did it. to the Patriots. Yeah. But let's, great night, you Talk know, the Giants you, and the Patriots. Oh, but you know, we had a bad game against Arizona, but it won't happen again. They always struggle against Arizona. That's the funny thing. And got packed up. I want y'all to understand, for 60 minutes of the game, your quarterback, Dak Strescott, as fucking, Strescott. As fucking uh, Dak said this Strescott. morning, Jack, Dak Strescott I know didn't he get y'all late. into the end zone not one time. No red zone. Dakota went crazy. What you mean? One, not <laughs> one red zone appearance. Yeah, he did. Michael Parsons. He had I, one. I, I like him as a player. He had one red zone. Definitely, right? if he can stay no. healthy. No. If he I can was, stay the healthy, that was a long touchdown. Um, I think they, um, yeah, no, I did get one. He got, no, he got he one got touchdown. One. He got a touchdown, but they were never in the yeah, red zone. I was like, say he didn't get a yeah, red he zone. Didn't get a, they didn't get down to the red zone. All that's right, what they the needed. Fucking, uh, the, the semantics. <laughs> that's that's a stack though. Well, you got a touchdown though. You got a touchdown, but you get and get to the red zone. You need to get to the red zone. He You're touched. Not gonna, he touched down. You don't have to get to the red zone. If he score touchdown. They needed to. <laughs> the zone ain't got to be red as long as you touch down. Well, they weren't getting. They weren't touching down on nothing. Hey, hold on. That was. I created that quote, so y'all never heard that nowhere else. Y'all heard it here today. That's a dub quote. He can now, he can now write it on Facebook and quote it and say the zone dub. ain't got to be red as long as you. T- t- <laughs> <laughs> I need to write the song, bro. Hey, Anywho, Drake, I'll let me, bro. Let's, I'll be on the next project, bro. Anywho, the point is they struggled on offense. Michael Parsons came out. I feel out like they had a great after, game after the game. Who the Cowboys? Yeah, they went crazy. Uh, he said. Um, <laughs> he said. Close um, no better. After the game. Oh yeah, they're not much. They're not much of. Uh, they're not better than us or whatnot. We we're, we're still on an equal level playing field. Nah. I'm just paraphrasing, and I'm like, well, I'm sorry, Micah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that's not the case because they no. stopped you. They shut you down. Brock S- Purdy didn't get touched. Not S- one. Somebody time. last night had the nerve to say that Dak had no weapons. I said, what? what he said, against CD him? Lamb is a number two receiver. I said, didn't y'all just compare bro. this man to Michael? Or, what? No, yeah, we're not nah, doing bro. this. See, this is my this nah. is my gripe with Dallas Cowboy fans. It's that shit right there. Like, like, the one, one you second, got Brandon Cooks, one second, Dak Michael is the greatest. Irvin, Michael Gallup. But look, one second, Tony Dak is Pollard. the greatest. <laughs> and then the next second, oh, Dak needs to be traded like last night. And it's like, come on, like. Figure out which one you're gonna do. You gonna See, ride for your boys or you not? You know what's crazy about that? I, like for me, it's not even that. Um, because because Texans fans are just as irrational with some stuff. They can get oh. no, nah, they get like that too. Sometimes. Mm. We we get irrational as hell. Well, I don't, but we ain't I, want to. I have some a chip, do. so that's why we don't but, have that. But but we not we not to that level. Yeah. <laughs> of delusional because man Cowboys fan when I seen that comment talking about he had no weapons I said what y'all had y'all were supposedly one of the top receiving cores before the season well that's what a lot of people were saying he had weapons every and other he had first, two, plenty three, of weapons they, you got they Tony top in offense last year before they got rid of their offensive yeah. coordinator don't, because don't worry about that don't worry about because that because it was they it have was no the weapons. offensive coordinator's fault and they got <laughs> rid of him because that would have no they have no weapons that. though yeah, these are the same weapons they had when they were lighting up people last year. Nah, they, it's, they don't have it's weapons. It's the moving of the goalposts. Once again, yeah, that goalpost gonna stay moving. It's gonna Once continuously again. move, and they always gonna find something to blame. We gotta look at yourself as an organization. Sometimes the players just didn't play good. You wanna know what's crazy though? I don't even hate the person, the team like that. Me neither. I don't mm. care for the fans. It's the uniform. It's, so, the fans. it's the satisfying seeing the fan. Some of the fans oh, just hurt. That was so because. Cause we feel the pain constantly. Oh. We're used to it. Yeah. But when we see y'all get it, oh, it, it just moves, removes my pain. Absolutely. That loss we had kind of was comforting. I mean, I would rather lose like that than like. Oh, they got. That was on national television. Everybody that was, was prime watching that time. Game. By the way, this, this was one prime of those time. games that everyone was like, "We're waiting to see who's Two really juggernauts the top. fight each other. 
They nah, eat, one juggernaut beat the hell out of the bro, other. They beat the brakes. <laughs> and the simple <laughs> fact <laughs> that even though Christian McCaffrey didn't go off, he was still able to get some good yards, got him a touchdown, but they forgot about my boy Kittle. Because, boy, my woo, God, he cooked them. You talk and, about cooking. And I want to ask y'all a question, too. Brock Purdy, he's uh, undefeated. I think he's 10-0 and 0 in his starts outside of, obviously, him getting injured in the playoffs last year. I won my mm-hmm. point. One. <laughs> oh, That's what I had yeah. just looked at. I looked at fantasy. You just made me think about uh, it. But yeah. Because uh, Tony Pollard didn't do. Uh, but yeah, Brock Purdy is uh, undefeated uh, so far. 10-0 in the Mr. Starch. Irrelevant. Mr. <clears throat> irrelevant. The guy's making the lowest <laughs> money from a quarterback. He's making less than um, uh, $900,000 on his contract. Mm-hmm. Do we put him in the question of top 10 quarterbacks <clears throat> so far right now? Because I personally... His play, I don't have a problem with someone putting him in that in that in that caliber only because he is what's making this offense work just as well. I think everyone gets distracted with Ayuk, Kittle, uh, McCaffrey, um, their their how they scheme things up. But at the same time, you need a guy that's comfortable Sh- out Shanahan there. Shanahan offense is quarterback friendly. Um, True. I'm, I'm not going to. making less than Daniel Jones. I, I'm, I'm not going to say he's trash at all or say he's just. <clears throat> so you wouldn't put him in the top 10 right now playing? I, right now, I, I would have to list him out to say to okay. see first before I do that. I okay. think he could possibly get in there, though. All right. All right. I would actually like to see him switch places with other people. What do you mean? To see how he would be in, in another situation. System? Yeah. Well, but that's the, that's the thing, man, because that's subjective, too, because the same thing with Brady, even though we didn't see it till the end of his career, but it worked in the system he was in with Belichick. That just that was just a perfect sink or whatnot. But at the same time, he the question the is arguments there, there too. Yeah, yeah there, and there he, are he, arguments he did there, go too. go to the Bucks and do the same thing. He went, yeah. to, no, he went to the Bucks, a team that I screamed the year before. If they didn't have Jameis Winston, I think that was the year... Before when James Winston threw thirty for thirty, yeah, 30 for 30, against yeah. us, the most and ended up literally throwing him, throwing their team out the game against us. Mm-hmm. We should have lost that game, and he ended up losing the game for them. He was like, "I got y'all interception. Mm-hmm. Here's another one." But and he ended up doing that. I said, "The only thing this team is missing is a quarterback. You give them an okay quarterback, and they can they, they can, can take you they can take them at least to the 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 conference final or something." Mm-hmm. I don't even know if this is called the conference final. I'm thinking about basketball right now, but uh. <laughs> Anyways, like he could at least do that. Tom Brady comes over there next year. I say, oh, great. Yeah. Now and, he's going to get the damn story. But the <laughs> before I'm, the season started. Before, But the point I'm trying to uh, make here is do you put more respect on Brock's pretty name? Because even though no, yeah, absolutely. You, you, can, you can sit up and say, oh, this is a great system. <clears throat> it's easy. But you still got to go out there and do it. It's yeah. different than on the optics of us just looking from the outside in than actually being on the field and actually producing and For taking sure. care of the football. So that's the only reason why I brought I, that up. I agree with you. The only thing I'm saying is, I I, I mean, I agree 100%. Um, the only reason why I said put it in a different system, because that'll always be that. that I agree like, mm-hmm. Okay, what happens if, kind of like what they did with Tom Brady's career. Mm-hmm. Like, I think. People would have always said, "Oh, well, if you didn't have Belichick, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to, you know what I'm saying." Goal post movement. I, I that's, agree. But I agree. Always ish do that to stop mm-hmm. you from because getting Jimmy Garoppolo was successful in that offense. You also mm-hmm. have, like True. every quarterback I've seen under Shanahan has been successful. Okay, like to be real, like I, it's rare that a quarterback isn't successful under him. And look at yeah. the offensive it's play call. Like yeah. look at the play. So it's like I want to be like, yes. He's he's one of those because statistically he's yeah statistically he should yeah. be yeah he should be <clears throat> but I you kind of want to see a lot. I'm always size. iffy on Shanahan quarterbacks. That's just me naturally. Okay. Um, now if they move out and then like let's say he does somehow gets traded somewhere else and still shows out, then I'm like he was him from the beginning. Okay, like right. but because because I'm always like that with him. It's kind of like CJ with CJ situation right now. He's with a San Francisco. Style offense, mm-hmm. and so they're it's it's naturally a QB friendly offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I'm like, it was one of the best situations CJ could have ended for up sure. In. For and sure. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it definitely. to death. Mm-hmm. I also don't. I also think some of the things CJ does, you can't teach. No, nah, bro. Like his oh, touch man. is. His, it's, it's not like normal. Right there, kiss, just, huh? It's not that, normal. So his right precision in the basket. is. Brock Purdy has had that last night and mm-hmm. I seen it so it's like I mm-hmm. I don't want to just rule him out so that's okay. why I'm like I can see him so you're kind of just just gonna kind of like a eh, wait to but see but I will say him. he gets his respect oh 
for sure. As he should. Being for Mr. Sure. Irrelevant, you, you, you got to get respect. No, because yeah. he went out, I think he went out last night to show them. Oh, he did <laughs> something. Like, oh, oh, I got okay. something to prove. He did. Uh, it's, he it's, keep it's, playing like that. Oh, it's just C-Mac getting it done. Oh, it's just the, co- the coaching getting it done. All right. He did. They not. They not playing, bro. Last night he went crazy. They looking. They looking. And honestly, no, I kind of have to put him because I, after thinking about the conversation I had with somebody, they were like, <laughs> "Oh, we got the number one defense. We got this. Okay, bro, if that's he, the number one defense, then I got to put Purdy in the top ten. <clears throat> he he cooked these. <laughs> niggas. Gotta get his respect. He flambeed these niggas, bro. Bro, did you see the 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 offensive line just looked <laughs> beautiful, bro? Like they were. Oh, you bro. wouldn't even get the game. To him. The game was beautiful all around. All it that. looked like that was a masterpiece of yeah, work. Yeah, right. <laughs> part on showing why we are we are looking forward to even <clears throat> their post game interview. Uh, Kittle and um, uh, Kittle Purdy, all of them, they were just you know they they were like, yeah, this was a good game, but their focus is like, hey man. Not only that, now that I think about it, he beat out Trey Lance as well mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. the spot. So like Trey Lance yep. had to. You know, do something better if he was yeah. better yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. being drafted as high as he was. So, yeah. nah, he's got to get. Yeah, he can. He can definitely make the argument. Yeah, top and, ten. And once again, if, who if also it, is on Dallas now that I think about Trey yeah. Lance. Uh-huh. Bro, they sat Daniel Jones down. <laughs> Mac Jones too. Yeah, they said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to talk about this too because we was talking about this in the Discord, man. We we there's different areas of football for us growing up. You know what I'm saying? For the majority of our uh, our lives, we saw the Patriots. They were dominant. That's all we... You know where I'm going. That's all we saw. That's, they were. No, I know. Majority but, of our life... Hey, I'm not saying they weren't. I want you to understand. You I, I want to put this in... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm, I'm about no, to... Let I, me get this I up. thought about this, and I really... You got to put, you gotta I gotta put, put respect this in on my guy, though. perspective in this, bro. Hmm? He got to put respect on my guy. That's cool, but it's a footnote in what I'm talking all right, about. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This nigga, the Patriots, have won two Super Bowls in one city in our lifetime. In our city. That don't happen. That's not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. The only we've only come close to a Super Bowl by watching another nigga play in our home. They made the field up for this nigga twice and the nigga won. But the point I'm trying (laughs) to make one time we was in middle school. The next time we damn near adults. Mm-hmm. So this is why I say this era it was pretty much outside of obviously Peyton Manning giving him mm-hmm. giving him his okay. respect mm-hmm. outside of the Eagles outside of the Eli twice outside don't of Big know, Eli out of, <laughs> out the outside whole world Eli, roots for Eli for sure he give my respect <laughs> yeah for sure and even though he stuck up the joint afterwards it don't matter he got it don't matter he's he ready daddy so it's cool. the, the Mannings <laughs> they, they outside of them. It's one of those things where it's like it's crazy to now finally see they're not at the top anymore. They're, they're <clears throat> bottom they're, of the food chain right they're now. They're at the bottom of the food chain. This is, for me, it's <laughs> cathartic because it's like, damn, bro. I remember sitting up there and what game it was. We This is back when you staying off read. I forgot. We was playing the Patriots. I think it was I think it was a playoff game, and I think we had who was our quarterback, bro. Then before Deshaun, the one we traded, uh, Brock, I'm about, Brock Osweiler. Um, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. it Osweiler or? Well, I know you're not talking say, about because we went through like 18 <laughs> after that. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Uh, it had to have been Brock because we mm. traded him to Cleveland. We kicked Keenum out. Yeah, I think yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. It, was so, Brock. it was Brock. I'll never forget because this we needed to win this game or whatnot, and I'm sitting up there. And I had went to go pick up some Little Caesars pizza at the time. And Shout I'm just Caesars. like, yeah, man. We look so promising. But ultimately, it always happened the way mm-hmm. it always happened. Yep. And our dreams and hopes will get smashed Crushed. by number 12 in the Patriots. Mm-hmm. And it's just one of those things to see these niggas struggling back-to-back weeks, getting they packed, smoked. They scored mm-hmm. a total of three points in the past two weeks. In the yep. past two weeks. They've been I looking just, terrible. It's just one of those things like we are in a new day and age, like to sit here and say the Patriots for sure are trash. <laughs> but the the kids now will be able to get that sweet victory and it won't matter to them because we'll never get that satisfaction yeah, we, of beating Tom Brady <sighs> and the Patriots. Like we almost did when Deshaun uh, Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, that uh, first this first game. Yeah, like this first game playing against we them. We went crazy. But <sighs> we won't get that satisfaction anymore. But <laughs> we will get to see them struggle. Yes, and it's like we and struggle. I was saying it's 
because people was talking about it it's in the Discord. For sure. And it was it's one of those things where I was like, nah, they deserve this. They need to go through this. They deserve every bit yeah. of this. They deserve every bit oh, of yeah. it. Because to see Belichick looking like how he do. Stressed. Or? To see, yeah. him, see Bill Booty Chin, old Brian, stressed. That's why I'm happy. Nah, nah, oh, nah. It has nothing to do with Belichick. I actually have always liked Belichick. Yeah, I like Belichick. It's crazy. Yeah, he's cool. But, but, but at the same like time. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, exactly. Yeah. You stress. Know, and then on top of that, now you got Bill O'Brien oh, over there. So y'all definitely out. I want y'all to fail, fail. Oh, my fail, God. Fail, fail, Just, fail, 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 fail. Yes. <laughs> Capital F. Yes. The fact that these niggas were winning so much, nobody was going to their parades. Nobody was going to them because they won they so many damn times. Like, nigga, I'm about to go to work. I'm about to right, go to this bro. goddamn place. Like, oh, I had one last year. I'm good on this. <laughs> so I, I was just, I, I had to, to make this point because it just, and it was funny because everybody in the Discord was like, you know what? We agree with that, man. It's good It's good that they're suffering. Yeah, no one struggle. wanted to be like, yes, these niggas is doing well again. No, let's, we good. Patriots, y'all have to go through y'all y'all lows and stay there for a while. At least about we took, about we, took we took all the positives away and said survive. <laughs> oh, yeah, facts, bro. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure do it what out. We've been having to do y'all, for all these y'all years. Y'all fine. Y'all y'all good. Bro. You'll be all right. You'll you be still got right. a, a top tier coach. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll get y'all together again one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> you brought Mac Jones in here to get sat on the bench twice. <laughs> love it. That was ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> when you get sat on the bench, put him on the bench <laughs> twice. That shit is just ridiculous. Bro. Last week too, right? Last yeah, week. he got sat down. Week. Yeah, he just need to keep him down. Put keep Zap out. Bro, <laughs> seeing those Patriots fans just oh. <laughs> and, oh. and doing this, oh, it was, booing the crowd, booing the team. Oh, it was, like, oh, it was yes. just it was like Boo music them. to my ears. Boo it's them. like damn, because it was, bro. I, it was crazy growing up seeing so many Patriot fans. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, what is this? What's going on here? Wait, when? Uh, yep, yeah, people. You, you know who you are. About some of the homies fans. that used to be. Uh, no, that's a different. That's a little bit more close regionally, and they yeah. do have a large fan base. Um, they be everywhere. It's wild. Though. I was in St. Louis and seeing Cowboys. Yeah, no, they have a, And before we had a team, <clears throat> true. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people was. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I, 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 I can. I don't get it, but I get it. But yeah. Patriots fans, these niggas, all of a sudden, and I think they were they be as you always know in sports, people become fans. Of winning teams. Oh yeah, yeah. always like that Brady jersey. Niggas don't give a fuck about. Niggas don't even know what college that nigga went to. But guess mm-hmm. what? He's Brady. He got multiple Super Rings. He's the goat to some people. Fuck it. I'm a Brady fan, and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, <clears throat> it's just like that's just how it's always gonna be. Winning yeah. teams. You're always gonna have those bandwagons. Yeah, they gonna jump on the bandwagon. But now. That bandwagon is on flats because I don't see nobody talk about the Patriots. Who was the Patriots? Boys and now touching people are Eagles fans and facts uh, and Kansas and City. I've, I've known a lot of Eagles fans that was the Chiefs. Younger. Yeah. Chiefs did pop up more. Yeah, you now, did see more of those. Now we're in the Kansas City era. <clears throat> now we're in that era now. And the question <laughs> is, how long will that last? As long as they got Patrick Mahomes and T- uh, Travis Kelsey, they'll be fine. But speaking of that, oh, they're gonna be just fine. We got to talk about obviously. <clears throat> People have been giving a lot of uh, ridicule and criticism to mainly just like these sports shows like ESPN and stuff like that, hyping up. And even the NFL going mm-hmm. crazy over this Taylor Swift stuff. It's like, all right, we get it. I'm looking like groupies now. Yeah, and it's just like, I, I get it from the financial side, but hey, ESPN, let's let's talk about what happened in the game. Let's actually talk about football. Or when, when did the NFL actually need that? They don't ever need they, it, but it, they make too look, much it looks money. good right. optically. Yeah, and but I've like, been seeing bro, her on commercials. It's like back bro, to back, her and Travis. Yeah, bro, Travis. I ain't never seen Travis, this many Travis Kelsey commercials, and I'm not mad at him. Get your bag. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. He got the he got the commercial personality. Yeah, no, for sure. So it mm-hmm. works, you know. But it's just when niggas at ESPN telling you that Taylor Swift is going to be at the game before she's at the game. That's, why that's do we need what? We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> None of these NFL people, the real watchers of football. No, we don't give a fuck. to watch football. Football, bro. Like, uh, and I, once again, it's a business. You want to, you're trying to get more eyes on it. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get the Swifties <laughs> to watch whatever. You know cool. what they're trying to do? What? Slide in that Super Bowl. That shit. Maybe next year, nigga. But I'm saying, they do that, views. Oh, no, that's definitely going to be views. But next year, Usher got this one. I'm good. Let's hope. I hope I, well, I think they already no, slotted. No, no, I, I, should, I should got this one. Yeah, he's slotted. He's slotted. Come out there skating. I was trying to 
<laughs> Most likely. Good. <laughs> the Super Bowl? I, I'd be lying if I told you I knew exactly. What? Probably was 2012. What? Because we were older. Huh? 2012? It was a minute. Google it. The last time he was what? We had the Super Bowl. Super Bowl out here. I don't remember. Oh, uh, no. In Texas? Or? In Houston. Nigga, I just... Oh, it was 2019. Was it? Was it? Falcons. Patriots. Oh, it was 2019? That, that was 2019, 2019, bro. That felt like it was so long ago. I, that, that was felt like 2017. That was right before COVID? That was right before COVID, bro. Swear. Yeah, Ooh. that was 2019, bro. <clears throat> Damn. That was 2019. I was looking at the... That was four years ago. So, uh, next year they're having in Vegas, of course. The year after that is in New Orleans. Mm. And the year after that is in uh, Santa Clara, California. And 2017. Oh, so it was 2017? Yeah, I thought it was 2019. This was the third Super Bowl to be held in Houston. Previously hosted the event in 74 and 2004. Oh, okay. I thought the it was... game was played New England Patriots and the Falcons. That was oh, so it was 2017. My bad. Yeah. I knew it was 2017. That's why right. I said I was like, I feel like hey, it was 2017. Was tw- oh, that was their last You know why I know it was, was 2017? My here? Bad. I know why it was 2017 because I uh, Bam the Dancer came down here mm-hmm. and I danced with him and that was the time uh, I was um, mm-hmm. linking with you. Uh, it was yeah, around yeah. that time. Uh, I, That's I, how I remember. I got it confused with his last Super Bowl. Okay. Well, his last Super Bowl win was in 2019. That makes sense. Yeah, I got that confused. But yeah. Because I'm like, 2017 just sounds more familiar to me. Mm-hmm. I funny, I was talking about Dallas because the next Super Bowl in Dallas is in 2027. That one going to be oh, Cause Cause they, their stadium in, is superb. Oh, their stadium is fire. I got to talk about this. So this is a personal one. So you we sure? were supposed, I forgot what year it was. When they first built the stadium, they announced the Super Bowl was going to be there that year. And I think that's when I want to say, did Beyonce perform? Who performed at that Super Bowl? When in, it was, hold on, I got to look Wait, the one up. in 2017? No, the one that was in Dallas. Oh yeah, they had a Super Bowl in Dallas when they just built the stadium. I've been right by it plenty of times. I ain't hold been on. inside. Let me yet. let me uh hold on. I gotta look this up because this is a so, very personal story, and I uh, you want to go there? Yeah, I want to go there because okay. it, it it was really just what happened to me. It hey was, man, it's time for you to speak up. Hold on, yeah. Speak nah, your mind. Whenever you get Super on the Bowl, platform, Dallas. You speak your mind. Uh, hold on. I I need I need to confirm. And that's this. where they had first built that stadium. Uh huh. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, wait, let me get the exact. While he's getting that, ladies and gentlemen, mm. shout out to the Texans for doing their thing, man. Shout out to CJ Stroud for being poised and um, being in that conference mm-hmm. uh, after the game, the press conference, letting them know, sounding real educated on what he was seeing on the defensive end, why things got a little tricky and a little hard, and what they need to work uh, on okay. for the next game. Um, Bet. I love quarterbacks. Oh, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. Take ownership. Hey, man. Talk <laughs> about that. Control me. CJ? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I like the ownership, and um, he's one of them. You can tell he don't like losing. So it's like, Oh, yeah. You, you kind of feels like what a fan him. would feel like. Did, you should have seen him when he was jersey swap. Well, he wasn't swapping, but he was giving the jersey to uh, Quavo. Mm. His face the entire like, time. Man. Like, Quavo smiling, he's just like, yeah, because he's uh, like, <laughs> and in the picture, he's just like, ain't got that boy to took that about. loss for real. I love that. I love that, though. Okay, so it was in 2011. <clears throat> That's when the Super Bowl was held in Dallas at the new stadium in 2011. Mm-hmm. And this is right around the time. This would have been, obviously, I want to say close to my, oh yeah, my sophomore year at PV. So the thing is, right before that, we had all got kicked out. Mm-hmm. Everyone Holy in class of 09. That was a part of the drum section got kicked out, and it was just like kicked out of what? Out of the band. Oh. We was kicked out. Yeah, you didn't wow. say. <laughs> you oh my bad, my bad, my bad. You just got we, kicked we out. We got kicked out the band. <laughs> so it was, in, and it was Why? one of those type of situations where they, it was something that happened. We had performed at the Battle of Bands that that semester prior uh, in Atlanta or whatnot, and. Once again, we're freshmen, so we we really don't have no say. We gotta follow whatever the upperclassmen are doing. And apparently, one of the uh, the band directors he wanted us to move up forward, like he wanted us to um, move. But we didn't move. The upperclassmen were like, "Stay right fucking here, don't move." I'm a freshman. He said, "Stay right here, don't move." I'm not going to move. There's nothing I can do So here. the band director told you to do something. It was one of the, the percussion band directors, yeah. Okay, so he told you to do something, but your, the people on the line. The leaders, yeah. The, the section leaders. Section stuff. leaders on the line told you I don't move. Yeah. No matter what he said. Yeah. All right. And from there, 
dude got upset or whatever, they was finally able to talk somebody to get us to move because it was a situation we were battling somebody and he came in over there and like Trying shut it down. Us. Yeah, yeah. It made battle and it made us look kind of super weak. Right. Right? So mm. at that point, I'm not thinking anything of it. You know what I'm saying? That was our last performance of the year or whatever, going off of summer uh, summer break. About to become an upper class. Yeah, behind. I'm about to be a summer. I'm like, yes, finally mm. freedom or whatnot. Nigga, I'm usually waiting to get, you know, my scholarship information, all this other stuff. Nigga, we damn near a few weeks from school starting up. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I call. The nigga said, oh, yeah, y'all been kicked out. And I was like, what? Whoa. What the hell? Your card declined. Yeah, pretty much. That's we, how they, they just. Bro, over phone, bro. We got kicked out because we were following in their footsteps. And I'm like, bro, we were freshmen. What the hell? We couldn't do anything but if they, we wanted to. But they knew the how that lifestyle is when you're coming in as a freshman under the section leaders. So why did they act like they didn't understand that? That's what I'm saying. But they want they basically wanted to get rid of all remblance uh all like I guess you can say uh remblance. I'm saying remnants. That wrong. Remnants. There remnants. we go. Remnants of what the section was at the time, which Talk was yeah, gotcha. now there was a lot of I'm not gonna go into it. There was a lot of stuff that they were doing, you know what I'm saying, that you know, obviously they didn't want them doing, but it was happening. Did they get so, kicked out? Oh, every, the people that were graduating, they didn't give a fuck because they're leaving, but everybody so got kicked out. Everybody. So the next year it was just all freshmen. Hmm. Freshmen in the drum line. It just they got rid of everybody because like they said, they don't want they didn't want to associate themselves with them. So they was like, We'll cut our losses. And it was like, damn, that's kind of messed up to that people that cold. had no, had no you know, no say in it. So the point I'm trying to get to is that year or whatnot, and the freshmen that came in, a lot of them were failing. So they couldn't march. But guess where they were fucking going to? They were going to the Super Bowl that year. That's tough. And I've always had the dream. Uh, rest in peace, Mr. Thornton, uh, our band director at, uh, at Willow Ridge. I always had the dream of so performing the at the Super Bowl halftime. I mean, even he's talked about it because he's performed with, took a high school there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he's talked about it and we've seen old VHS tapes of it. I was like, bro, that's dope. I can't wait for that right. to happen. So I finally get into a situation where it could have happened, but once again, they kicked me out. So there was shit. nothing I could do. We even tried to get back in. They wouldn't let us. But the freshman that was there... Most of them failed. So guess who they had going in their place? Niggas just playing on horns. What? Yes. With no percussion? No, they were playing. They were pretending to play. They because oh, they had they to fill so in the spots. The, the wow. Yeah. So they That's weren't even lame real as hell. Like drummers. Drum yeah. It was just yeah. So when I found that out, That's like drum line I for real. Was so real movie. <laughs> the music mad, bro. Over. Because it was like dog. I could have. Been out there playing, you know what I'm saying? Because they went up there, they had to practice and everything. I could have been out there being seen by millions of people. And millions. And millions. And I could have <clears> played <throat> at that Super could've Bowl halftime. Could resume and all that. I was going to put this on my resume. Like, I didn't give a fuck if the job had nothing to do with it. So how can you... Uh, <laughs> I can play uh, the drums. Super Bowl. I played at the Super Bowl. That mean you me. can, that mean you can uh, handle yourself in a composed manner in front of millions and millions of people. Bro. And you don't it, crack under pressure. Bro, and it, one of my homies, he was um, um, well, he was playing, um, I think he was playing, he played trumpet, but they had him playing some, pretending to play some other position. Oh he was telling me God. about it bro, wild, or whatever. Bro. And he was like, bro, that's one of the greatest experiences in my entire life. Because it's just, you know, that stadium's huge. That's he almost 100,000 people. <clears throat> lights going crazy and everything. And he's like, bro, that was... I damn near cried. I was like, right. I wouldn't cry. I hate he when said, I'm gonna cry way. for different reasons. It's the Super Bowl. Don't come to my. Say, don't thanks come for to me telling, telling me about it. Though. Though. Right. I, and I was happy for him because I'm not one of those type of people. Because I was like, it, <laughs> but it, but it hurt. It, but don't it, don't come to me telling me you almost cried. I mean, shit. Fuck I, all I, that. I, I no, <laughs> hell no, Ross. <laughs> I, I, I should be there. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that though. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trip if you did, because I understand <laughs> the experience. Well, I'm gonna assume you knew I almost cried. I ain't gonna tell you. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I, get it. <laughs> bro, I just say but, it was dope. Bro, you That's it. <laughs> but the you point is, like, bro, that shit <clears throat> hurt me to this. My mom was mad about it too, because she, you know, once I told her everything. That's funny. I got a similar thing like that. Um, mm -hmm. Y'all couldn't not to cut you off, but y'all couldn't sue them or nothing. 
No, bro. Not to that degree, though. I think bro. it's that's, something. I think it's something sad. y'all could do. That's yeah. what I feel like too, because that's like dirty as hell. Like they just like there's no way that a or not nobody gonna have to snitch, but they know what was going on. Mm. That's what and I'm they saying. know how that works when you're a freshman going into mm-hmm. a, a, a new line. Mm-hmm. You getting your ass whooped. No, it's seniority in that shit. You like, know what's up. That's just like when you go in the NBA. Like freshmen, mm-hmm. you think they have to do just, shit like yeah. buy everybody meals and yeah. they mm-hmm. pick. You know, it's like a, a, a hazing type yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you a rookie, so mm-hmm. that's the same thing. They knew what was going on. Oh, they knew. So for they them to just, just kick y'all out like that and they didn't even just, give y'all no warning, they yeah, just got was, rid of everything. They got rid of everything because they that's wanted dirty, to do the bro. drum line in their vision. I did not know that was the way. Oh yeah, no, I got a vision for your ass. We gonna rename this program. <laughs> my situation wasn't mm-hmm. as big but it was you know something I wanted to do mm-hmm. um, back in high school we had um, the, they called it the pop show it's like your ta- the talent show for yeah, high yeah, school yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever mm-hmm. and so the year before the gym, my junior year I had performed with DJ this is the first time I danced really the first oh, okay, time okay. I danced like like performance yeah. wise with DJ mm-hmm. and we had did like this big performance and everybody like loved it all over the school and then the next year they, we had uh the guy who did like choreo and stuff mm-hmm. for the school, he was like, "We're gonna do something big. We're gonna do a Michael Jackson tribute." Mm, awesome, and, awesome. And That's I tough. was excited about this, like super excited about this, because that year before, everybody loved our stuff. Everybody, like people I didn't even know was coming up to me at this point. Like, I didn't know you dance. I didn't know. A lot of people found out I danced in like my junior year of high school. I had been dancing, you know, yeah. since like middle school. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, get to twelfth grade. I'm, you know, doing, uh, practicing for the pop show and stuff. And then my parents was like, I ended up, uh, I guess, making a C or something. Oh, uh, no. Something. Oh, damn. It man. wasn't even like, it was yeah. on a progress report, I think. It wasn't even on the report. They don't even card. count. My parents was like, well, yeah, counts, we're going to have to pull you. Uh, and I said, pull me from football. Okay. I'm like, I've already been pulled out of that. So just I'll just stay out of that. Mm-hmm. Cool. It was like, no, we're going to have to pull you from the pop show. And I was like, No. <laughs> oh, no. no, and I had been waiting for that for the whole year because that was something we had looked forward to. Uh, they they knew it was going to be huge, yeah, and um, it was getting recorded like professionally recorded, and so it it got recorded, and I and I they had to pick a replacement for my position or whatever, yeah, and um, it got recorded. That's tough, damn, and. Crazy thing is, it ended up making it on the news. Oh, big Michael Jackson tribute on the news. Damn. Oh, that man. hurt so bad. I, I was, I was crushed. I was like, damn. Some of them nuggets you still kind of hold on to. Never forget that yeah. one. Yeah. It's yeah. one of them you never. It's similar yeah, to that being on the news. Yeah. I think about it all the time. Man, like damn, Bowl. like that yeah. was one of those shows. Like I, I, I just, I always wanted to do. Yeah. Mm. And it was a Michael Jackson tribute. I was like, I gotta do this. That's one of them, bro. Yeah, like, man. Yeah. Sometimes you you have them experiences or you know those situations that kind of you learn from, but mm-hmm. it's one of them tough lessons that where you just like, God, I ain't learned nothing from my situation. Fuck y'all. You yeah. learned that you should have went after somebody, bro, because y'all ass should have been put your name on that damn school on the side of that band. Oh, they was gonna find out about me for that with that situation. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for sure, bro. Even now, shit. Hopefully, we can use this soundbite and go find whoever. Nah, ass facts. Was in that was dirty as a hell. coordinator. Yeah, I don't even to go. think they there now. Yeah, it's all new, new yeah. administration. He probably got fired. See, things happen for a reason. He probably got fired. You can't, you can't fired. do something to somebody and don't expect yeah, nothing nah. back to come, for come sure. on to you. Nah, nah, he probably got fired. Yeah, yeah. It was, and once again, it's still a messed up situation. Uh, whoever pulled the green like that, man, hey, fuck you, bro. Mm-hmm. You, you took a lot of our dreams. Me and Joe, we would have been out. Oh, bro. Because we would have passed. We was passing our classes. It wasn't no. We right, right, y'all right. wasn't having was, that issue. Nah, bro. It was. I mean, we went to school. You know, went to class. Did what we had to do. Because at the end of the day, our mission wasn't to be no fucking fifth year senior, six year senior only here for the band. No, we trying to accomplish something. We're trying to get our degrees and get the hell up out of here. You yep. feel me? And it just sucks that we. I had to come out of pocket afterwards because they took our, my scholarship away. You know what I'm saying? All because of whatever agenda they had. And it sucked because there was a, uh, a was long. shout out to, I forgot his name, bro. Damn it, dog. He came all the way from California to play drums, bro. Mm. All the way from Cali uh, to come down here. Off. He got kicked off? 
He oh. got kicked out. Did he go back to Cali or did he? Yeah, stay? I think I think he ended up going back to Cali. But I think I recently seen him like some type of commercial or something like mm. that. Somebody posted it on Facebook. I was like, oh, that's awesome, bro. I'm glad Niggas to winning. see that. To see and it. then a lot of a lot of everyone that I've you know I've seen like on our Facebook group and stuff, they got kids, got families, doing well for that's themselves. Good. So ultimately, yeah, <laughs> it did suck for a lot of us because it kind of messed up things that we thought in our mind what we were gonna do. Or whatever, but at the same time, you know, we were still able to overcome that. And And didn't let it stop y'all. Eric was a part of that too. Yeah, Eric was supposed to be there with us too. Mm. Shout out to DJ Eric, the homie, man. Shout out to DJ E, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, man, it's, it's, but it, it, when I look at it in the grand scheme of things, it, it puts things in perspective. Yes, that didn't happen, but now look at where we are now. Things happen for For a reason. Look at where we at now, man. Things like, happen for a reason, bro. You never mm-hmm. know what would have happened if you would have still been in the band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What woes you would have been through, yeah. what decisions you would have made. Yeah. You know, probably would have ended up in a, another type of scenario. Yeah. You never know. So, been with the wrong person, wrong time, you know, slept with this girl, had a kid early. You never know. Yeah. You, you know, never know, man. Even though kids are blessings, but yeah, 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 you yeah. just never know what kind of rabbit hole life would have took you on. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to watching Loki. You know, the timeline is crazy. People. Two I haven't seen season <laughs> two seen yet. Season two yet. Yeah. But um, watch it. let's hit on some of these suggestions from the. Uh, oh yeah, because we sure. never was able to get on the book. First, before we do that, I definitely want to send prayers, um, in love to the situation that's going on in Israel or mm-hmm. versus Israel and the Palestine. Mm-hmm. Don't have all of the information on it. Mm-hmm. I've been reading up on it, but I still don't feel a hundred percent confident to just yeah kind of sit here and delve into it. I yeah. Agree. Um. So if y'all want to next podcast, we can after we get more information. Um, yeah, prayers go nonetheless, out. Nonetheless, everyone that's being affected. I always by that, send prayers sure. when I hear innocent people yeah, being killed. No matter what side it's on, no matter who's the one, you know. The civilians <clears throat> suffer in the end. Civilians suffer over other people's decisions. decisions mm-hmm. Yeah, and that sucks. And uh, I did see one person on Twitter make a comment talking about some. This is one thing I will say because it was very ignorant. Of course. Um, talking about I'm it's black. Twitter. I'm black, so I'm not, I don't care or of something like that. Of course. And I'm like, bro, right. that's ignorant. At its finest. Yep. Don't, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you are. Black. Like, even These if they don't humans. care about you or not, if Biden do some shit and another country just start bombing us because of something he did, and they say, well, we don't give a fuck because we're not, then that's how it would feel mm-hmm. on, you know, from what you're saying, that's how they would feel or they're, you would feel. For they're sure. human so, beings and innocent lives. Kids, children, yeah. they have no idea of the shit that us grown-ups are worn over. Mm-hmm. So anytime you hear about those Lives being taken, anyone in, in fact, but especially in kids, it should make you feel some type of feel way. some but type of way. Like I said, it's Twitter. It's a cesspool. What do we? It's, it's, fake. it's, and it's and niggas use fake race fake. at the wrong time. time. Of like course, niggas of course, love bro. to throw that, and that's why people be saying, "Of course, bro," how they felt in other times. Of course, because in moments when we need to stand up as black people, we don't. Yep. But that's yep. another conversation for yeah, another day. Let's get into these uh, some of these uh, discussions from the Discord. Shout out to everyone. That <coughs> Shout out to the people of, in the Discord. Of the Discord, uh, homie J, the Washington Texas Ranger is his name. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> how do Houston people think about the Dallas versus Houston rivalry? Um, it's not really even, even a rivalry, to be honest with you. Bro. Uh, it kind of was. It is. I think. I think as you mature. That shit goes away. Yeah, because I I personally don't give a damn. Um, I could care less. I don't see it as uh, much because I. Because for me, I have family in Dallas, so a lot of the times I feel like I really kind of take it as like a a, a family rivalry more than anything, mm-hmm. more like that. If I I guess because with my family we joke and stuff, but I'm like, shoot, I jig, and a lot of that stuff comes from for y'all, Dallas, yeah. and yeah. then a lot of y'all music that I like comes from y'all as far as dancing wise. Yeah. In, in the I club. mean, it was a thing. Then, I mean, Dallas is you know, but I mean, it's just like how I used to be with the South Side and North Side. Yeah, same thing. Houston. I mean, same but I think it's all with. We we even joke about it now, like about Dallas and in North. I'm about side, to say because I'm I'm from the North Side. They both from the South Side. So yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm from the North. Side. I mean, yeah, he's from the North. I'm yeah, South Side born and raised. But as you get older, you realize how ignorant that shit was. Like when ignorant we was doing, when we was on that in middle school and high school, you it's, it's, elementary. It's, it's really it's really your surrounding <clears throat> mm-hmm. because yeah. that's all we knew. It was mm-hmm. elementary if, for me. I moved to Third Ward in third grade, <laughs> and I was no. talking about some. Northside, Northside, Stuart Wood. It was like stupid. Oh, yeah. Just stupid. Definitely got jumped. <laughs> Bro, I got into fights every day. I was in a, at Turner. 
in a fight every day. Me and Steve wouldn't have been cool. See, it's, every day. It's the, see, you know what's we crazy? We meet at certain times for a reason. You know what's crazy? You say we wouldn't be cool, but I was cool with with, with a guy very similar to you. Oh, okay. We <laughs> very similar to you. Cool. And he was like my protect, I guess more like my bodyguard, if anything. <laughs> so I was like, you probably would have been that dude. Because <laughs> I did dumb shit. Like, I remember going to- um, <laughs> And he was crazy. <laughs> I remember going to Homestead. Right. Nisha remember this, that they was on a trail ride. Oh, some dumb shit. And I was, I, I had my- I had my, I put Southside on real loud, and I was in an Impala with 22s. Tripping. With the tinted window. Tripping. And I was just looking for, but I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah. Zay was with me. <laughs> looking for a problem. Me and, the oh, wrong, sure. me and the wrong nigga was rolling around. She, he met me the same way. Mm-mm. I was on some ignorant shit too. Because me and Zay was always ready. <laughs> me and Zay was always ready for anything. <laughs> but it was, it. but I will say, when I grew up, I, I, I just looked at myself and said, like, bro, that is the dumbest shit. Yeah. Bro. I don't own shit out here. I don't, this neighborhood ain't done shit for me. It's it just, I just wish more of these kids would just be able to get out. Because it's your surrounding. When you're mm-hmm. surrounded by that and these OGs, you, know. you in the hood all the time. Yeah. Everything we did was in the hood. My favorite foods, I mean, which is still in the hood, but yeah. that's all I knew. You know what I'm saying? So when you don't get outside of that, that's all you deal. You, you're just the product. Yep. And you know, no matter how good the household That's what they is, product of their environment. Yeah. When you outside, you're around most of your peers, and if most of your peers are on certain things, it's kind of going what you be on. <clears throat> but um, when you grow up, bro, you realize, like, man, it's more to life than a street name yeah. <laughs> and a block. Yeah. You God, know what I'm saying? It's, it you, is. you start realizing that people, like Steve said, like being real close to him. I'm pretty sure he'll have my back no matter what. More than somebody that grew up mm-hmm. in my neighborhood. It's, it's, you start realizing it's not just the people. Because some of the friends be snitching on the friends. Man. Mm-hmm. And quickly. The reason why that they boys be getting set up. Hell, we be seeing a lot of videos and hearing stories about homies setting homies up. Mm-hmm. So some of your friends ain't really who they, you know, who you think they are. So a lot of times, bro, it takes some maturity. And it to me, right now it ain't no rivalry. The, the biggest thing is just the Texas versus Cowboys, yeah, and it's just because the Cowboys just be talking trash. And that's, that's, that, that that's, ain't deep. that's really good. Like I said, yeah, in college it was there, but that's a different setting. There was a lot of people, obviously from Dallas and a lot yeah, of people from, yeah, that's different from Houston. So I definitely did see it then. But even just getting older, bro, I don't. Like, but even then, I, like the older I got, the more I really didn't give a damn. Yeah, like, yeah, if you cool, you cool. I yeah. didn't care if you was from Dallas, Houston, yeah, North Side, you, you South cool Side. People, bro, I, I ain't really give a damn. You know it, what I'm it, saying? It, it's just the haircut, though. The, the, the shag. Not that booty thing. We can't. Yeah, the shag. Can't yeah. the shag. We can't but get behind the booty. Let me know, it let me know where you. I'm was not from. calling it the shag. It's the booty. <laughs> yeah, the little, yes. the little puff. Oh, I hate shag, it. That bro. shit, bro. I'm the like, booty would have turned. What is the point? You messing up a clean face. That's. That's their. That was their no, thing. I get it. They used to be so like, disrespectful bro, to me. But they'll have a clean fade and then just a. Patch. You just see that in the back. Like, but oh, I, bro, you let me know who's where you from. It did. It, it was easy to identify. The little puff. <laughs> Tell me, uh, what's her name? Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny. Oh my god. The Lola Bunny tail. Yeah, but um, I, yeah, it's it's not really no no heated thing. Somebody if, said simps. Doctor Eleven. Uh, simps. Which, what do you mean? They just said simps? <clears throat> That's it? They just want you to talk about simps? Somebody, there's always a... It's always a simp. A, a well, person in this They'll forever time. exist. <laughs> That's, yeah, simps. It's like, it's, it's water wet. Do you breathe air? Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about? There has to be some more context of simps. <laughs> simps, man. That, you know, just simps. Somebody said personally a segment about how to get around Houston. Because a lot of people want us to talk about Houston. and How um, to get around Houston? Have a car. Uh, Definitely have a car because you can walk in some some cool spots. Y'all shout out. Have a vehicle. You can walk. I want Dub and Ross to talk about their mailbox. I want Dub and Ross to talk about their experiences living in Houston. Like Steve, you got to live in the right spot, but you can walk from Pit Dog. So y'all pretty much want us to talk about Houston in in a nutshell. Um, For me personally, Houston has been uh, a pretty great city. Um, I love the fact that you get a different feel for. Just about pretty much anything you're into. Yeah. yeah. 
you can go to a different side of town and it literally will look like somewhere else. Yeah, bro, um, I don't stay far to far from Chinatown, bro. Yeah, no, Chinatown. He does not. <laughs> and I'm talking about the signs. Yeah, the chains. <laughs> chains. Well, they'll say the, the bank, English. They'll, they'll the have English, the English version. version. English version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, they, and they, I, and they I got that bank out there. Yeah, yeah the bank. Yeah, yeah. They got exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, you go to Har. You go to Harwin and you can literally find all kinds of things to trade and get stuff in bulk and blank blank t-shirts. Oh my goodness! All your DIY type. Material. Mm-hmm. It's it's um, a bunch of different areas. You don't see a bunch life, of different things. Nightlife. You got your midtown, midtown. area, which mm-hmm. is a lot of like bar hop types. Yeah, vibes. that's more my vibe. I like midtown. Yeah. that's typically where I would go. If day I'm going party. To party. A yeah. lot of day party. Type. Typically midtown. You want to go if you're 21 and up yeah. most of the time. Yeah. You don't want to go a young. It's not a young spot. 18. You want to go downtown. Yeah, you want downtown go is else. where you'll get a lot of your <clears throat> midtown. Don't and up clubs. A lot of the clubs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is good because like, hey, we ain't on that BS. Mm-mm, I didn't appreciate that until I got over twenty five. Yeah, when mm. you get over twenty five, you realize like, like okay, because those over twenty five clubs, even those like those are cool because you mm-hmm. like it's a mature crowd. We ain't coming in here to fight or none of that. We coming here to have a good time. My mm-hmm. back hurt. Look, <laughs> <laughs> after have them I sitting ain't down, to fight chilling. Like, <laughs> boys been working all week. It's they good vibe. To just come mm-hmm. chill, get some drinks. Um, if you are ever in Houston, check out <laughs> Raw Spot. My spot, Ross. You actually should be the one talking he, about. He the really spot. can approve you. He really can approve whether or not you walk through the if kitchen. You, if you're a nightlife God, person, here we go. Ross People is the king. Know it's about funny because y'all, Steve or uh, Keem or Theseus, they hey man, what's popping tonight? Huh. <laughs> I'll be like, we always I tell know. you, you do be knowing, nigga. I don't know. You all, every time I ask you, like, let me see where my DJ homie at. Which spot he at I know a lot of DJs. Oh, we going here. I, I do too. A lot of I know DJs you do. Though, so. Right then, so that's why we ask you. Hey, but man, I ain't been out you? like that, so I asked Ross. So <laughs> Ross, oh when God, Ross tell me we, if oh we going, if I'm going somewhere, mm-hmm. just like the midget wrestling, when I find out something is at nine o'clock, mm, yeah, I'm out of there. Yeah, nine o'clock. Mm-mm. If I ain't already out, I saw TikTok there. Wanted to give you. It was like a husband and wife, and he was like, "Hey, they just asked us to go out tonight." Uh, and he said, "Is he trying to? What time? They trying to leave at ten. Ten. Yeah, <laughs> disrespect. Yeah." yeah. yeah. Anything they get late like that, I'm like, I don't know. I ain't even gonna hold you unless unless I'm already out and moving. It's a good chance I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. Like, All right, that's y'all. a wrap. Even on the side of the it's gotta be yeah. it's gotta be down the street to y'all house at that point. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it gotta be. Okay, close. Close. okay, cool. Some close. That's close. I'm, I'm kicking so with that. <laughs> it ain't loud and it ain't crowded. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because I don't do loud crowds. <laughs> Me neither. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very conscious person in my I'm, surroundings. I'm a rare uh, appearance person when it comes to those type of places. And I'm like, oh, it's Ross' birthday? Bet I'll go to that address. Yeah. Oh, it's just a random day? That's my only time going there. It's just a random day? That was my first time, too? Oh, really? <laughs> and I had to go through the kitchen. I didn't want to look like a regular. Here we go again. My boy, my boy looked up. So if you're ever in Houston, go to hit up the address. It's a pretty cool spot, man. It is. It, but it maybe, is. maybe it's, it's cool to us because, you know, we get to sit in sections yeah. about a DJ. Yeah. You know, we... Every time my boy go out, <coughs> and keep we, we take us out. As long as we go out with him, we good. It's yeah, a great bro. experience. If I want to go, he out, gonna take care I of us. Ross up, bro. He gonna make sure I ain't looking I like a scrub. To park. I what? To you pay what? <laughs> this nigga. Wait. Party. Damn, that's crazy. That's still that still ain't that's funny. still crazy. crazy. I was still mad at that. And you know what? You never told me that. Damn. Of course. You want to know how much he paid for? Zero ninety nine. Well, zero zero zero. Now we paid some. You paid the park. Yeah, we we paid. We couldn't. We couldn't quite get the he kitchen knew treatment. I it's okay though. <laughs> Ross knew he had to lie. <laughs> hey, we, you, it's really only because we couldn't. We the... couldn't get on the phone with him at the time because I think it was just something happening. I don't Ross remember. already knew, bro. Hey, <laughs> what you doing after? <laughs> but I mean, you know your your homies. <laughs> he know I'm not a club <laughs> person, so <laughs> he had to make sure you. <laughs> this nigga came out personally. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah, because I had to let the parking guy know, hey, hey, he, he, he with me. Because I told him the night before, yeah, I got some people coming up here, boom, 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 mm-hmm. or whatever. So I'll let you know. And then he's like, oh, yeah, you're good. And then once you told me, I was like, I bet. Because they, bro, they like fucking, they like sharks out there for the parking. No, they, they are. Like, hey, hey we, I got you for the 20, I got you for the 30. Hey, the dude hey. with the cheaper one, we went with him. <laughs> Huh? It was a dude that, that had like a cheaper price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, the first dude say like forty. I was like, mm-hmm. nah. That's and, then, the main one. and then I don't be trusting them because, see, my thing is, me and Kedra used to go out a lot. Oh know? yeah. Like when as soon as I like seventeen going to eighteen, as soon as I became legal, <laughs> we was going to the club Friday, Saturday, and if we could, Sunday. Mm-hmm. And 
Yeah, I'm Same. completely like we was going to the club. I promoted parties. And mm, one time I, we was, was going out to park. There. We was going to park by Warehouse Live. Mm. And this nigga, we was pulling up to the <laughs> parking lot. This nigga said, $5. Five dollars. And I was like, nigga, I don't even trust this Hell shit. Hell no. Nah, but nah, we parked there anyway because, yeah. yeah, but I was like, yeah. But we parked there anyway. <laughs> nigga, we came out and when we got in the car, it was a dude in the car next to us. Shit, it got busted in. Ooh. And he came back like, damn, bro, they got me. And we got in the car like, looking at our shit. Yeah. I don't know who drove me or Kendrick, but... I was like, get about this motherfucker. Yeah, like, <laughs> time to go. But the remnants get he get mad and start thinking. Like, nigga, I walked to my car the same time as you, so yeah. you know I ain't do it. But damn, that nigga that said five dollars, he was not here no more. Of yeah, course he was. Be watching the damn Boy, cars. They disappear quickly. Yeah, I, them niggas be finding them vests, and that's the only thing too about parking. Watch where you parking at. Make sure that you reading the sign. You gotta yeah, know. Definitely Houston. You gotta know. You gotta know. Oh man, I got a perfect one too. Man, I must have went. Ah, uh, what club? It, it was actually, you know what? It was D Bar. I went to D Bar. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to judge you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wanted you to say this. Is a, this is a while <laughs> back, bro. I went to D Bar, and I want to say I had parked on a side. I had been there in a minute. They be tall. So I parked on a side street. Oh, what? Clubs. I'm just never gonna appear to. And you know, before when I was going, <laughs> they didn't have the parking sign. Like you could park there. But I guess people have been complaining because people they start the houses towing. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they didn't want people parking in front of like the houses. True, Even if true. it's not blocking their driveway, I'm guessing someone complained. So I went, parked. I didn't see the sign because I hadn't been there in a while. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know. Man, I, was, I had a good time chilling. All right, I'm about to go back. Man, I must have. My, this is when I had the Honda, bro. My heart dropped because it was gone. And I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute! It's two in the morning, bro. I'm like, Who want a Honda? That would oh be the first thing you need to think. I was like, no, that's disrespectful. So I had to Google what number to call. I called or whatever. They was like, you know, they asked me for the lights plate. Boom, 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 boom. Oh like, yeah, we got your call. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. So I had to it's find like music to your ears a little bit. Yeah, because I thought it had got you. You're like, all right, so. I'm cool with paying the price at, at I, this I, point. I wouldn't cool with paying. Yeah. The price of course not. Yeah, but, but I'm I, saying I, in comparison, yeah, in comparison <laughs> to it being chopped up by yeah, now. Yeah, so one of my because it's gone. At that home. point, actually, it was Chris. Yeah, Chris took me to go get my car uh, from a uh, tow place or whatever I paid. I think it was like how much was that shit? One eighty nine. It was like one something or whatever. Why well, know the price? Yeah, it was like one something. I paid for it because I had to call my mom, and she was like, "How did that happen?" And I was like, "I ain't know. There was a sign there. They just they must have randomly just put it up, and apparently that spot." Not now, but at one point, that spot, they used to just be Notorious. towing cars yeah. because people didn't know it was there. Oh, they'll watch your ass park there, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, they'll yeah, let you do there. it. Go on there. Yeah. Get your ass by 12 o'clock. Oh, man, bro. I was like... Coming room in there. Hell, there was a, even another time recently when uh, I wasn't in that same area, but I had parked on a side street in, in my car now. And something told me it was in my spirit, bro. Because I got into the, <laughs> the spot. The Mercedes gods. I got into the spot because I didn't see anything. No sign saying you can't park here. But some <clears> said, <throat> you know you what? You can't park here. Let me, I, let me go just check. go check my car. Yeah. yeah, just go check. Boy, they would. It was multiple trucks. Come towing on. niggas. And there was a cop over there. They was like, hey, if you got your car parked over here, you can't park over here on this street at all. We towing. And they were towing niggas. Left and right, they and be I'll, getting money, bro. bro they when, be waiting for when it. When I walked up, you're like, "Hey, that's your car, like, You better go get it." I was like, "Thank God, <laughs> bro." Everybody I appreciate you though, too. And they'll be scraped. Ooh, oh, and then you're gonna up. have a little random scrapes, and you don't, you can be one. They can't fuck do them anything up, about it. You can't, bro. Them nah, tow, tr- was, tow truck bro. niggas is crump, man. Hey, I respect, but boy, y'all niggas be acting like crumb bro. sometimes, bro. Like I got see. And then I'm life. One of the homies is a tow truck driver. That's a dangerous life. Once I found that, I'm like, hey, you one of them niggas that be waiting to a nigga. Bro, like, sure. bro they get tried this shit. I went in to fucking <clears throat> submit a test at U of H one time. <laughs> and them niggas tried to get me. And I was just parking. I, bro, I had, I was running in. Maybe it couldn't have been like five minutes. Ooh. And my class was right there. But it was one of them situations Sheesh. where all the parking spots was gone. Yeah. So I just had to run in real quick. And like, because I was right next to the uh, building. I'm like, nigga, I ain't finna park across where the stadium is now. Yeah. yeah. That's where the parking lot was. They did have that and big you parking had to, lot right You there. had to walk all the way from there across the street. And then my class was all the way in the corner. Yeah. Like, and on the edge going towards MLK. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nigga, I ain't finna walk way over here just to submit something real quick. So yeah. I found a cool little spot to get. I, I forgot. If it was a legal spot or it was handicapped or whatever it was, 
Or if you had to have you the was on that Metro bag. Rail Road, you had to have it. Yeah, you I had to have a badge to park there. So I was like, man, I'm just going. No, and I have a badge. That, that, that one across the street, the uh, Metro Rail, where mm-hmm. the Metro Rail was, and then the uh, main MLK yeah. Rail, right there. I used to park in there, knowing I couldn't, and I'd just say something to the dude, like, hey, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> but nobody was- If I, they were that's there. How, that's how I knew they was watching me, because I was literally just running in for five minutes, and I seen the tow truck pulling up. And I'm like, hey, I'm right here, I'm right here. And she's like, oh, we're going to have to give you a ticket. I said, ma'am, I'm right here. I'm just, I just ran in real quick. I'm already back. Yeah. And she was trying to give me a ticket. I forgot what happened because I ain't paid a ticket he and they didn't take my drove up. Bro, I got my car because me and that he tow truck okay. dude was going to be fighting. <laughs> he said, it's time to go. That's, that, that's college, it's, that's it's college days. Go. You ain't got no money for no damn 180, no, not at all. We yeah. definitely going to fight no, and I'm going to drive off. Especially yeah. when you know I'm right here. Yeah, like, nah, bro. Fuck so all that. You ain't go. put my car up yet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you trying to slide my shit? Bro. Man, hey. So All I know is whoever parked on that street that <clears> night, they had a rude day. awakening. But that's his parking over there by D Bar is very bad. Yeah, no, nah, it's right. definitely bad, dog. But that's club sketch. Club, <laughs> club sketch, sketch ain't the word. But you say you used to park <laughs> across the street after that, like further down the block. When? Like some blocks away from D Bar. Mm-mm. I, I I think that was probably the last time I went. That was like the last time I went. What bro. club was it at the address? You would park like a couple blocks down? Oh, yeah, at the address, because, you know, they had the side streets behind it or whatever. So I was parking there. Oh, okay. but nah, but nah, I knew because <clears throat> niggas be bringing in the cars and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So it's like. Especially over there. New. I'm mm-hmm. like, you know what? Let me talk to the homie. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he'll hook me up. You know what I'm saying? With the, most of the time, he'll hook me up with, like, the cheaper prices on the on the parking or whatnot. Or sometimes he'll just let me park there for free yeah. or whatever. Man, uh, it's a lot of dope. Places I'm not, oh, not going to get into dope. crazy of them, but yeah. Burger Park, if you ever in Houston, of course go to Trail Burgers because it's like, I think it's a safe, <laughs> it's the safer place to go to. Get some good food. To yeah. get some very good Houston uh, is a very food city, food yeah. friendly. You get some, what for you all pay the foodies. For. Any some foodie, your, you, can, you can come out here and get what you want. Some of your best spots is in the hood. Yeah. Um, oh, for sure. If you go to Bur- Burger Park, Timmy Chan, <clears throat> 610 and MLK, uh, definitely go before the sun go down. Mm-hmm. Um, you, just, you know, just just because. No, I mean, as a as a tourist, I think that's a, a great tourist. idea. I do yeah. that when I go to any city. We yeah, that. me we too. We went to uh, L.A. We went to Roscoe's. Yeah. Absolutely. I went straight. Well, I went to Roscoe's that night. I can't lie. We went to Roscoe's. I ain't doing that. Which one you went to? It's two of I mean, two. Hollywood? We went to Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood he said, safe. that's why. You didn't go to the original. The original Inglewood. We did the original first day. My my uncle from Inglewood. So, but trust me, you know, we, we, we went. Look at home, you I used to go to L.A. like, I used to go, I used where to, go to L.A. Stay? like. Where your grandma stay? Because my, my you uncle. You know what? Get out the car. My you uncle, um, because uh, Inglewood, you, I think we went to the In-N-Out out there, and I think we went to um, the Roscoe's. We do. I, I, told, I told him I still haven't met, and I ain't been I've to L.A. Been to and, I wasn't taking there, but when he left it. My uncle had had passed, and since he's passed, we haven't been back out there. But I used to go out there like we almost need every other year. LA trip, bro. We, we should definitely do that. I, ain't, I, ain't going I would to the definitely hood no more. Oh no, not I mean, good. I, I we can go, go see during the day real quick. <laughs> We're all white. My thing is always yeah. Y'all has gonna learn now. <laughs> this nigga went to LA. With oh, red. you had colors on. Yes. Well, we was. I didn't get out the car. It don't matter. You was still in. The, I had on had blue, had but that was only because I was in my uncle neighborhood. As long as you're in the right neighborhood, it's straight. I, man, I was in the car. We were all in the car. He yeah, had my red. uncle the same way. Yeah. He so had red. Dolo had red. My uncle had on a black one of them black plaids with them, you know, them soft uh, shoes that they be wearing. The car, she let them know she was blue with her. What she do? She did like that. Yes. Like Grand Theft Auto. It looked just like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Like when I first went to LA, I was like, bro, this why it was so many goddamn killings. Y'all two streets from each other, bro, yeah, right next go. to each other. Rivals. He used to like move what? Out. He used to yeah. his hoods. So you got to yeah. drive a minute to get to a nigga hood. You know, like, well, you got to be able to, it's like. California, we got actual corners. Well, you got Cloverland and South Park. They right by each other. But that's still like a little drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you ain't just walking. I, I know some people that walk to Cloverland. Cause Clover, no, I know. But depending on where it's at, like, you can you literally can walk straight into it. Like I'm not beefing right with you right next to you. I want to be company. <laughs> I want to go to the meet, uh, the market. Uh, we definitely don't mm-hmm. have that, though. No. That's like Chicago style. Yeah, like Chicago. Always go to the corner stores, right down the street. Yeah. Oh, gotta make it back. Oh, oh, no, no. Back, no, where I'm from, Northside, we literally used it was to walk to a corner store all the time. It was an adventure. Down the street. I miss the flea market. Down the too. street from my house, we had a corner store. I had. I used to walk to my elementary school. I used to walk to CC's. I, that's why I said I walked places a lot hmm. when I was younger. We used to oh, get yeah. on the metro and yeah, walk. Like, we, oh, yeah, I've been. That was when we was younger, but the city is expanded. 
way more than uh, I think a lot of people expected because city's huge. It's not even that. Um, it's it's as you get older, you do more. <laughs> but true. the city still is definitely expected. Right. For sure. From when we was kids, it was it was like you said, the metro. You know, it, especially before before they built the metro, just off just the regular <clears> metro. <throat> You can really a lot of people didn't even have to have cars. I remember my mom. I'm gonna be real with you right now. You still don't need a car in the area I'm from. You don't. If oh, you, in the area you're from because okay, okay. you had Northline Mall, which is now like some little oh, okay, okay. like outlet now. Um, I, where I was at, you could walk to Northline Mall. You could walk to Booker T. You could uh, walk to uh, uh, yeah. I was, oh, okay, okay, I'm, okay. I'm straight straight in the middle. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Directly okay. down the not far from Booker T. Oh, not far from. Yeah, I was in the I was on the on the uh, line. We were, literally we stayed in the apartments in Acres Home for a little bit. Certain neighborhoods, like if you don't got a car, you shouldn't be over here. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> that's what, that's what, yeah, no, you you should not if you're not comfortable. No, you don't got no car, yeah, don't come for over sure. Here. And matter of fact, the, the neighborhood there. next to us, you technically wasn't supposed to walk. It's like a Mexican neighborhood, and they jump your ass. You said Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, see my my aunt, that's what it is. But my aunt used to it's say, a, um, but I was comfortable, so we would walk there, walk there, walk here, walk <laughs> there, and um, mm-hmm. the neighborhood next to us, we walked through it all the time because my cousin was crazy. So he'd be like, "Now nah, we gonna walk through this way." I was like, "That's that's what a what that say is He'd be like, "Now nah, we walking through there," and you know, just on some ignorant shit. He walked through there, and then we see them, and they all come chase us. We would run, jump the fence to get I to mean, our neighborhood real man, quick. Man, I ain't got time. For my my fear. <laughs> I I'm remember here. my pants got caught and he ripped the whole inside part open. I cut my leg up Jeez. just trying to get over and they were just laughing at me. I was like, hey, I got away. <laughs> hey, I w- that didn't fear me. I, I didn't have that too much fear for that. It was the dogs. The, and then the dogs. The, that the, did- <laughs> the, the, the damn stray. It was always bulls. strays it was over there. It was always a goddamn Rottweiler or pit bull loose. Bro, they had Dobermans yeah, over there. And right. nigga, yeah. <laughs> they had them Dobermans. I had one time my cousin was uh, I was running with her and she was working out and I was oh, running with her. You already running too? And, oh yeah, you was fucked. And I was tired. <laughs> Nigga come out of nowhere. The last lot, last block I started walking. Oh shoot. I could see the house. Nigga. Get close. All I heard is root, 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 root. Nigga, boom. I just got this burst of energy. I bet you did. You gained ass. it. And that I, second win. Bro. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's so much we can talk about when it comes mm-hmm. to the city and stuff like that. So man. Definitely keep putting y'all suggestions mm-hmm. um, in the comment section so that way we can kind of answer them more and more and more. But sure. hopefully y'all enjoyed the podcast, man. <laughs> Episode 91, dope in the books. Yep. Let us know what y'all thought and some other things that y'all want us to talk about. And I'm we good. out here. Yeah, we're good. Man. Hey. Nice one. Woo! This is the Hot Podcast, man.